a long, exhausted day. Man, just want to go back to the house. But anyway, live from Jerome Harden Studios. Let me line the camera up some. This is the latest of my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. Um, sorry, um... I apologize, um, you know, if I was, you know, pausing for a sec or, you know, trying to prepare myself, but, you know, I'm just, you know, ready to get back to the house, but, um, anyway, um, the topic that I'm going to talk to you about is about owning a car, getting tickets, and all that driving category, because, you know, ever since I moved out, you know, I have to soak up all this, uh, knowledge of, you know, owning a car and stuff, because, um, until I was 25 previously, I never owned a car. I mean, the previous car that I had is owned by my, you know, it's under my parents' name. So, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so let's get this topic started. And by the way, guys, um, I'm going to take you on for out for a drive. So, you know, just, you know, make this video more interesting. So, um, yeah, so. So, you know, it's a very beautiful uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, it's not that warm outside or it's not that cold, but it's in between. Um, it's about in the uh, late 50s or early 60s. But um, what really annoys me that uh, despite all this rain in uh, Huntsville and the surrounding areas, and now I got to back out. What I hate most about driving is, you know, People had their all their cars here, so this stuff is crazy. So, but um, anyways, um, yeah. So let's get this topic started for real. Um, like for instance, um, if you are eighteen years old or over, or just turned eighteen, um, and you're trying to think about purchasing a car, or you know you just turned sixteen, you're trying to purchase your first car, or you're trying to finance a car. Um, you have to, you know, know the, um, uh, elements of owning a car and stuff because you gotta have insurance, um, you don't want to have any access or you don't want any tickets, like, uh, of course if you just paid off the ticket or you just, you paid off the tickets previously, I mean, either, either way, it doesn't matter, um, as I was saying, like, um, if you do get a ticket, like, uh, I overheard, like, I just looked that up on the internet that, um, if you get a ticket three times, they can, uh, suspend your license up to six months, um, and, uh, for, and, uh as for me, like, uh, I just got a ticket one time, so I'm good, and uh, my net license has never been suspended, but, um, say for instance, like, um, if you, uh, had your license suspended, and all this stuff, and, uh, you know, the police, uh, can, uh, if the police get behind you, you know, they can check their data, they can, you know, scan you, see if your license is good, or your insurance is good, um, just to make sure that you're valid, make sure you don't have a suspended license, or no insurance, or anything, because anything that can happen, you know, you thought you can, you know, how smart the police, you know, can get under their radar, but unfortunately, you can't do that, because, you know, they have other ways, you know, they can get you if you don't have a license or your license has been suspended or you don't have insurance or whatever the case may be. Or if you, even if you have a warrant out for your arrest, you know, if you get arrested for some reason, like, you know, you got a warrant out, you know, car gets impounded, you know, it costs a lot of money to get it back. So, um, and also your license free estate, you, you know, costs a lot of money to get that back too, so. But, um, yeah, and, uh, let me tell you about, uh, financing or owner of a car. Now, the car that I'm driving right now, um, this is my very first car under my name. Like, I got insurance, I got registration, and all that stuff, but of course, I'm still financing the car, um, like, and that reminds me, have you ever seen those shows like Lizard Lick Towing, South Beach Towing, or Operation Repo, like, in real life, it's not like if you uh, finance a car, if you don't pay, pay, make payments on it, you know, they don't just come to your door and, you know, ask for a key or they say, hey, I'm going to take your car, you haven't make your payment on it. But, you know, like, 
here's the thing that um, gives me, like, they just come and take your car without, you know, even give you a notice, not send you a note through the mail or anything. That's why, you know, they give you a call saying that you need to make a payment and stuff. Um, sorry, guys. This sun drop is so good. You know, I am just love drinking soda so much, guys. I mean, you know, of course, sun drop isn't my favorite. My favorite is, you know, it's Pepsi. Like, any Pepsi products, like, you know, I don't even drink any other brand besides Pepsi, mostly. Like, I literally love Pepsi. I'm from the South. I was born in Huntsville, Alabama. Like, I'm literally 27, and I even never moved to the city. But, you know, the other places I've been besides Huntsville, um, I've been to Virginia. I've been to Tennessee. I've been to Nashville, Roanoke, uh, Chattanooga, Knoxville. Uh, Montgomery, Birmingham, but, you know, never been to Florida. I mean, I've been to Atlanta before, but it's just that one time. But I heard uh, Atlanta been doing a lot of things. Like, it got a lot going on. Like, there have been rapes taking places and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, back to the topic. So, <laughs> so sorry, guys, but I've just been off topic, huh? Just you know, um, like I, uh, I've been you know talking about a lot of stuff besides the point that I've been talking about, like um, when you uh, finance a car. But anyways, back to the topic. Like when you finance a car and stuff, you know, like the uh, in real life they just don't don't come to your door and knock on the door, ask for a key or anything. You know, they got ways or they have ways to find your car. Like they put GPSs on something. I even heard that. Um, they can have a remote and turn your car off instantly without even knowing. Like, if you're in the middle of a middle of traffic or you're on the interstate or something, and your car unexpectedly cuts off for some reason, and uh, say like you uh, going seven miles per hour, so um, yeah, that can be a bad situation not making your payments on they cut your car off you know call somebody come get your car you know and all of a sudden they take your uh, car back to uh, you know repossession place because you didn't break a bank your payments on anything that anything can happen if you don't you know make your payments on a car um and um let me talk about insurance because um if uh, you're here in Alabama just like I am um you know that Alabama is a competitive state because you know they can up your prices if you, for some reason your insurance gets canceled or you're trying to if you're uh in pur purchasing purchasing uh, sorry guys you're purchasing insurance for the first time ever in your life so um yeah you have to go through all these steps and as well as purchasing car you have to go all through all these steps you have to go you have to you know show proof of insurance for getting the car um and then, you know, you have to find the best in prices uh, uh, in your budget. Like, you don't want to go over your budget because you want to make sure um, that you have enough money for it uh, to pay for it. Um, and, of course, um, anything that can happen, you need to set up a budget. You need to save money that, you know, you can uh, um, save for your car payments and all that stuff because... Um, to me, when I first moved out, I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, it's just, you know, it's been uh, so hard for over a year now, but um, yeah, I've been catching up now. So, and to, just to remind you too that um, next topic, um, you know, I am uh, currently writing out my guidelines right now, and some of y'all need to hear this because really, like, I just experienced last night that, you know, uh, no matter how much you work you put into your craft, no, no, uh, man, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know why I keep pausing, but anyway, um, no matter how much uh, time you put into your craft, no matter how much time you, you know, trying to get to perfection, no matter how much time you uh, uh, perfect your artwork and stuff, you treat your graphic design uh, logos like you do for customers as art. And people still don't like it. I mean, you know, I don't get it. I mean, that's just what uh, got me frustrated last night. 
and got a little frustrated with me today because I don't understand why people don't like, don't appreciate what you're doing, even though you put a lot of time, heart, and soul into it. Just, you know, and sometimes, uh, you know, people can go somewhere else cheaper. Um, I can't be wrong about that, but, you know, I know a lot of other places can charge uh, cheaper prices than that. You know, they can still weigh your customers. <laughs> And I'm sorry, guys. I com get completely off topic again. So, um, yeah, it's just fun, you know, doing videos. I mean, I haven't do vi done videos for over two years now, and I it got to a point like um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately, and I mainly watch YouTube on my TV. I don't literally got cable at the house because you know cable is getting too expensive these days. And, you know. The cable companies want to lie. They want to, you know, say this and that and all that stuff. You know, they, you can uh, go, you can uh, get a hundred, a hundred trials uh, for uh, eighty-four dollars a month or something like that. Like what I mainly use is, I mainly use a Wi-Fi or just the, you know, the internet alone. Mostly, I use a Wi-Fi off my phone to do my. Uh, graphic design work, um, and because, you know, what's the point of, you know, like, paying so much money if you don't even use it, like, you they just want to up your price, and the, you do, and the uh, worst part is, they will, they don't even give you enough time, or they just want to keep, give you fees and all that stuff, you know, I mean, it just gets on your nerves that, you know, they're trying to charge you all these fees because you lay missed payments and they cut your stuff off. They keep keep giving you fees, trying to keep, put you further behind. And, you know, it just get, get, came to the point that, you know, I just had it with the cable company. Now, now um, the cable company I was with is Comcast. I mean, I've seen a lot of reviews that, um, like, some of my friends posted that Comcast is terrible, you know, they don't want to deal with them anymore because they lie, they cheat a lot, so. Man, this, this sun drop so good. Mm. I just love sun drop. You know, um, even though you try, try you know, Pay a little bit, pay a little bit of it at a time. Um, they still don't want to cut your stuff back on, and they still turn you off. You know, they give give you charge you more. You know, even if you're not even using it. So, to me, like it wasn't fair for me. And you know, I was at and another question too. Why would they they charge all these fees for? Why would they charge all these fees and trying to put you further behind? Like, it, I feel like every company does that whenever you're late for your payment or whatever. Even though you're not, um, you're struggling, you don't even have enough money, or your job's not paying you well. And it's, it's getting darker outside here too. So, um, it's just like, um, I, I think, um, well, my theory is that um, I think other I think other countries besides the USA are doing better than you know than this country right here because you know I feel like we're under communism because you know they charge you like expensive fees in case you're late or you know if you uh, speed or you know get a speeding ticket you know it's not even a hundred dollars it could be two hundred or three hundred you know. Here in Alabama, if you speed, like, say, for the instance, for, like, 10, um, it's 179. That's why I had to pay when I, when I sped. So, um, yeah, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got, I got, guys, I've been so off topic for so long, you even forgot what this topic is all about. So, man, I just love three silent, you guys. I mean, you know, like... What gives you the idea is, you know, me driving, you know, trying to, you know, do a vlog on it. Um, you know, like, if you get something, like, you put on your dashboard, like, um, something to hold on the windshield and while you're, 
uh, the phone's recording and you're just talking. You don't have to do all that. You do have to do all this. You know, just you know, hold the camera while you're driving. It's just like uh, texting and driving and stuff, and you don't want to do that because. I think I heard that, you know, it can be a little expensive, more than $179 if you do that. At least think you're texting and driving. Man, that's the last of the sun drop, but, you know. Anyways, man, wow. It's been so long I've been since I've been uh, done this kind of newscasting. Um, mostly, uh, when I do... Um, my videos. I was mostly in my room, mostly in my house, uh, mostly in my backyard because, you know, I mean, for real, like, like I said in the uh, last video that, you know, I haven't had the energy or the heart to put into these videos anymore because, you know, I get so burnt out, I'm running out of ideas, but it's a good thing that I moved out because it gives me um, the power, it gives me the energy, and, um, <clears throat> looking at all these other people on YouTube, um, doing their thing, like, even some of my Facebook friends around Huntsville are doing the same thing that I'm doing, you know, some of them got kids, they, uh, put in time to, you know, to make YouTube videos, um, but, um, in the future, that what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna shout them out and tell them that, you know, I'm giving a shout out to this person, you know, what kind of stuff they do. They may be rappers, they may be artists, they may be other graphic designers, um, they may be other business owners, or I might even uh, try to go in and try some of their food sometimes. So, you never know what's going to happen on Jerome Horn Studios, and also... What you just saw um, pre in the previous video that I even changed my logo out. That's right. I changed my logo out um, because, you know, I had that uh, kind of logo for almost five years now. And everything, every other graphic design and every other business is um, doing the same thing. Like, they changing their logos um, to make it more professional, make it more uh, futuristic. Um... Because, you know, it's getting to a point where the old stuff is just, you know, not there anymore. Like, say for instance, like, uh, Walmart's changing their logos. Wendy's changing their logo. Dollar General. Family Dollar. Texaco. McDonald's. Uh, Kroger. You know, any other major company that changed their logo is uh, bettering their business uh, just like I am. And I am doing the same thing just to bring in more customers. Because, you know, really, um, who would want to go in and see the logo for like 30, 50, or even 60 years? Um, just like uh, Kmart, you know, I, 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 to be honest, I, I haven't even heard um, Kmart for like 5 years now. Or maybe even more, because they haven't even made any updates uh, just yet. Um... That's what my probably going my next topic is going to be about is about uh, Kmart and you know their demise because they haven't been doing a good job updating their stuff like the one here in Huntsville it closed like uh, five years ago because you know they haven't been changing their stuff so um, it's kind of sad that you know like we're we're going to lose Kmart um, but I'm not really surprised about that because you know. I just watched a lot of videos on how Kmart's declining, uh, you know, Sears and Kmart is, you know, they're a big, one big company now, and I see a lot of Sears, um, closing their doors, um, because, you know, they haven't been doing good business, you know, it's just not the same anymore, you know, <sighs> times have changed, everybody, um, you know, and... Like, a lot of companies are putting a time effort to try to see what will keep the customers coming back to their location. Because you don't want any, uh, draw customers away because, you know, you have, haven't been updating your stuff. So, um, yeah, so that's why it's just important, you know, 
to keep update up to date with your business. So, and it's been, I don't know how long it's been since I started recording, maybe 10 and maybe 20 minutes. But, you know, I've just been off topic because, you know, it's just, uh, the uh, topic is supposed to be about um, purchasing a car and stuff, but instead I've been, you know, talking about other topics. But, um, what have I been talking about so far as, you know, purchasing a car, having the insurance, getting pulled over, you know, um, but I think that's all I had to say because I think I covered all that, but, um, you know, Getting uh, your getting insurance, you know, financing a car, buying a car, and whole like if you have all the money for it, you know, unless you're rich, of course. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's been a uh, decent day here in Huntsville, but you know, unfortunately, it's going to rain tomorrow, and you know, more floods supposed to be coming up, and you know, I'm not ready for that because we just got a recent flood. I've seen all the other areas flooded, and I feel sorry for those people that, you know, that's going to, their home's going to get flooded again. I am just feel sorry for those people. But all you can do is just pray and, you know, hopefully everything will be for the best. But, um, anyway, um, I think I'm going to close off this video. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you haven't liked, be sure to like, subscribe, and, um, I'll see you next time. But until next time, I'm Jerome Martin, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Martin Studios. I'm out. Peace.